guys. This is going to be a Q&A. You guys asked me some questions on Instagram and in a bit of an unusual format, I thought I'd do it from the car. Um, those of you who watch my vlogs will know during lockdown one, I uh, went out in my car as like therapy. So we called it car therapy. And this will kind of be a car therapy Q&A. I don't leave the house very much. Um, probably like the majority of you, unless you are key workers um, who are actually having to leave the house. I pretty much only leave the house on a Saturday, if that, and this is my only time on my own, okay, completely, completely on my own, leaving the house. It's amazing. I never used to wanna leave the house. I'm like a real homebody, I need to turn this off. And um, I wasn't interested at all. And then as soon as, it was like my only escape from lockdown, which I know we're in lockdown, but you know what I mean. Um, it feels like a little nugget of freedom. And so here we are in the car. First question, just to start off with a fun one, um, was NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? And I love that question. And I think that it completely depends on your age. I would say now I'm more into the Backstreet Boys, but at the time, definitely NSYNC. I think it's like the Westlife or, or Boys own thing. Um, it's not necessarily which did you prefer, but which kind of like hit their peak when you were at exactly the right age. And for me, that was NSYNC, definitely. The next question was, um, how long have Lee and I been together and how did we meet? So we actually met at work and we've been together, I think it'd be 12 years this year and we've been married for nine. Um, <laughs> I suppose that answers the question, but it's not very interesting. Uh, yeah, we've been together for a really long time, I suppose. I was thinking about this the other day, like, it's been a really long time, and yet it doesn't feel like it's been that long all at once. I remember being a teenager um, and thinking, you should just get married as early as possible because then you've been married for a really, really long time. And then I did get married when I was 22, and it was a mistake. Um, it was to Ella's dad, and he's an absolutely lovely guy. Um, couldn't have asked for someone better to have to co-parent with um, while not being in a relationship, but we shouldn't have got married. I think may, basically we only got married because everyone said, you're probably not gonna get married. When you have a baby when you're 19, no one thinks it's gonna work out. And I do like to prove people wrong. That's probably not the best reason to get married. A good follow on from that is, would I ever have any more children? Um, again, something I've been thinking of more recently, not because I want to have more children, um, but because it's kind of always, I think for a woman more so, uh, always kind of on your mind that you could, but there is a clock on it. And I don't think we want more children. I would say 90% want, 90% well, 100%, 90% certain no more children. Um, but there is that 10% and I was thinking, I don't know what, oh, I was watching Working Moms and there's an episode where one of them uh, finds out she's perimenopausal and her instant feeling is like, although you don't necessarily want to have more children, you want that option there. And I think once the option is taken away, I'll be really sad, but I really don't think we'll have any more children. Okay, I'm at Tesco and I am gonna go and get some bits and I'll come back to you. Oh. I bought, not doing that. Um, I'm not dressed for this weather. And there is a queue around the corner. So we will be going somewhere other than Tesco today. Um, oh no, someone's left their bag on a trolley. I'm sure not on purpose. Right, the next question is um, any regrets? Or she said biggest regret of 2010s um, and no BS about having no regrets because everyone has cringe moments, which I completely agree with. I think the thing I'm struggling with there is the 2010s, oh, this is super wobbly, I apologise. Um, the 2010s was kind of like an easier decade. I think I had um, struggled the decade previous. And so the 2010s, I was kind of like, mm, that's kind of the decade that you knew me. So maybe she's pointing specifically at something she thinks I should regret. I mean, like hair stuff, maybe, you know, I shouldn't have done that thing to my hair. But that's not something I would categorise as like a biggest regret. I've come to Morrison's. It's looking promising. I can't see anyone queuing outside. So I thought we'll quickly answer into the question then I'll go in. Um, 
the question was any more thoughts about microblading after all this time so i've had my eyebrows microbladed you may or may not know um i love it completely love it i was actually due to have it topped up just before the most recent lockdown i actually put down a deposit and then i never got um an email or anything so i'm hoping i can still use that deposit uh when, as and when they open again um but i love it i love it so much even now i mean they're kind of a little bit though i mean they're very faded you can i don't know if you can see because i am filming on my iphone but up there it's super faded um and they can get a little bit purpley I don't care, I can live with it. I'm not someone who's like staring in the mirror and looking at every floor. This is something I've said in the past. If you are someone who will really focus on um, the problems, like I went initially with my friend who couldn't live with them. She was like, I can see this one's slightly high, this one's not quite right. She just, it was just gonna really bug her. Um, and if you are that kind of person, don't do that don't have tattoos at all I would say um but for me I just look so much better with eyebrows and especially in lockdown when we haven't been wearing a lot of makeup like if I look back at my really old vlogs my eyebrows were so sparse and terrible and it was probably one of the things like if you had to have one makeup item an eyebrow pencil would have to be one of the things because they just they were never they never looked like eyebrows I blame the 90s I mean, talking of regrets, again, this is from like the early 2000s, but over plucking my eyebrows, my God, that definitely is up there with the regrets. Um, but microblading is not. I've been to two different people. The pe person I went to more recently um, was much, much better. It was the twin salon in Doncaster. I paid for both of them. Um, but I, I love it. Love it. Would 10 out of 10 recommend? Oh my goodness. Oh. Shabby is so chaotic now. I was actually planning on going to JISC. I'm so sniffly now, I apologize. I sneezed in my mask. I was like, this is not pleasant. I just had to delete five gig of storage from WhatsApp. Is what it told me anyway. Um, because I was running out of storage to film things on my phone. Anyone else? I don't know why, I need to change that setting where every single time someone sends me something it automatically goes into my camera roll because that's really eating into my storage anyway um i think i'm gonna end on one final question and then i'm gonna go home i was planning on going to jisk i had reserved something i may still go later but i'm just kind of like oh, you know after you've been to the supermarket and you're like i don't i want to go home <laughs> i'm done i'm done being around people i don't like this anymore um so you know i just might not just might not uh so my final question was um from someone who was asking about my real job my office job they said um how is that now because they thought it was in danger it seems to be okay now no so i mean obviously right now nobody really knows for sure that they have job security because nobody really knows what's going on during the pandemic like anything can happen and uh, businesses go under um and suffer and we are a, a freight rail company um it seems to have been okay so far but who's to say um the thing of it being in danger was about it was over a year ago because it was christmas time not last christmas the christmas before i believe was when they said that we were all at risk of redundancy and basically we got enough voluntary redundancy come in um do you know it might have even been the year before it feels like such a long time ago but obviously 2020 felt like three years long and also six months it's very strange um but yeah we were at risk of redundancy they tend to do this every few years it's i've already been through three rounds of it um so it happens but currently my job is safe but you know no one's job is safe right now i think we all need to be grateful for the income that we're getting if we're getting income um i've never been more thankful for my job and that i'm able to work from home hard as it can be um, I will work for that company as long as they'll have me because it's, it's a difficult job at times, but it's, it's a job number one. Um, but it's also the familiarity. There was another question about whether or not I would ever work full time at the YouTube full time. It's not for me. It's really not for me. I have spoken about this before and I've also always said that it's the social 
element and it's the routine and obviously I've lost that and so I understand why someone would ask because that's always the reason that I've given is I liked going to work I like that banter with my co-workers I like that we have that connection and I have that routine in my week um, and that structure and I always that was always why I thought I did it and I that is definitely was definitely a major part of it I'm not looking forward to going back to the office because there is no office to go back to like my workplace will never look the same i'm fairly certain that they're gonna move us to a different building as and when it's been hinted at we don't need the massive building that we've got now because people aren't going to be working from the office all the time it will probably be like a, a rotor situation in the future but i am not looking forward to going back to the office because i won't be going back to the work i know that's gone now that's never going to come back um and so that familiarity is gone but we do have um, like online chats. We can kind of call each other through Teams. We have our WhatsApp group. That makes me still feel like I'm part of a team. And I really like that. I like that element of working a real job, a real job. Um, but also YouTube is fickle in many different ways. Although in this past year, I definitely could have survived on my YouTube income. Um, I don't ever want to be beholden to YouTube and I want to know that if one day I wake up and think I don't want to do this anymore I can walk away and there's never been a gap in my employment history I've always been employed and um, I have a job so worst case scenario I could ask can I work full-time instead of three days a week if I needed to um, and that's the main reason it's security security income wise but also just kind of like a mental health thing I think the minute YouTube becomes something that I need to do, like if I needed, if I just thought, do you know, I have had enough right now, I need a minute, I could just stop doing it for a while. I don't need the income. It's a nice supplemental income, don't get me wrong. It is a job's worth of income, but I don't need it to survive and pay my bills. And I don't think I would enjoy it as much if I did rely on it. And that is why... I don't really ever want to go full-time. I would ever, only ever go full-time at YouTube if I lost my job. I wouldn't do it by choice. Or if something happened and I was like, I really don't like this anymore. But I think I would still go out and get another job. Because, you know, pensions and stuff. It's, it's hard to just only work for yourself. Right, so that's gonna be it. I apologize for probably the shaky strangeness of this video. Um, it was kind of off the cuff. I was gonna film it at home. I started filming it and my battery died. So I thought I'll do it after I get back from the shop. And then I got in the car and thought, well, why don't we do it at the same time? Um, and so we did. So let me know how you, how you liked, how you really disliked this format. We never have to do this again if you hated it. Um, I have tons more questions that you gave me that I didn't answer in this video. So we could do this again in the next couple of weeks if you're into it. Otherwise, I am going home. Lee said that my eBay chair has arrived, which I'm very excited about. I will show you that soon in a vlog. 